Welcome back to 2JZ, another update episode. Today, we are finally tackling these engine and transmission mounts. From the factory, the 240Z bolted the engine on the front cross member. The L24 or L28, depending on which car you had, rested on the cross member instead of the body itself. What's going to be different about our approach is that we are going to mount the engine to the frame rails. There is some discussion about potential issues with torque and flexing and bending of the frame rails and distortion. It's up for debate. Depending on your view on it, you may or may not agree with it. I'm gonna go ahead with it and if my fabricator sees any issue with body flexing or, or potentially ruining the frame or twisting the body or crushing this or that, we will reinforce it. The second item on the list is the transmission cross member. Now that should be a lot easier. This is basically just gonna be a bar, two DOM pieces and bushings. And then we'll make tabs on the body to secure that cross member to it. That's all we have on the agenda. We gotta get this done by tomorrow, ideally late tomorrow, which I hope is possible and doesn't give us too much grief. We're gonna give it a shot. Now let's go ahead and get started. And let me show you the parts that we're working with. Okay, as you can see here, this just looks like a big um, mess of metal, but let me explain what we got here. I had Ross, my fabricator at Rebe Rebellion Forge, cut me out these uh, metal plates. These are just some uh, basically mild steel plates for reinforcement on the transmission tabs that the cross member will mount to, rather than just welding straight up to the thin steel of the body. We'll weld these on first, and then we'll, we'll uh, weld our tabs onto this, these guys, and we'll do something similar on the, the engine cross member tabs. Next up, we have our tubular pieces that are our main connecting portion of the engine mounts. Ross went ahead and made these unique cuts on the end so that we could take our tube pieces and attach them like so and you can see how those mount nice and flush. These won't stay as long as they are. Probably cut them, I don't know, halfway down or something. That's to be determined, but that's what those two guys are for. And then this is our isolator for our transmission. This piece bolts to the bottom of the transmission. This is actually out of a uh, Z32 300ZX. I think the turbo in the automatics and the non-turbos are all the same. But basically, you replace the VQ version with this guy. And then I have a piece of square tubing. It's too long to show you guys right now in the video, but this is basically going to act as the cross member for the transmission and then these circular pieces are going to sit um, on the end of that I'll weld those to the the square tubing and then bushings go in here and as you can see here I already have the bushings in this one the bushings go here these go here on the ends of the bar and then this mounts to the tabs on the body. That's the plan anyway. And then I just have some extra metal here. This will be used probably for the tabs and reinforcement uh, on the engine mounting piece of it. So that's kind of the idea and everything we got going on. At this time, I'm gonna go ahead and position the engine and transmission in the car like I want. I'm gonna level the car first and then we'll level the engine and transmission, make sure everything isn't up, nosing up or isn't nosing down. And then at that point, we'll go ahead and start, I'll probably start with the transmission cross member. That one I feel more confident about getting done than the engine ones at this point, just because it's very simple. It's just a piece of square tubing, the two circular pieces, and then the tabs on the body. Shouldn't be too bad, I say that now, but you know how that goes, so. Anyway, let's jump into this and uh, get this thing done. Okay, first order of business, level the car. So what I'm gonna do is throw a level on the bottom of the floor plan and use that as reference. Whatever levelness we get out of that should be uh, very close. I just wanna make sure everything is level so that we can take the motor transmission, line it up accordingly. Uh, yeah, it looks like we are I think I'm gonna run with that. I don't think we need to adjust the car. I, I think I leveled it before I put it up on jack stands, so. so we're good there. So now let's get our transmission back up in the car like we had it, put it into position where we want it. I 
keep running into this freaking wheel, so I need to take that off because um, every time I try and push it up against a firewall, this freaking thing doesn't want to go, so let's go ahead and pull the grill off. Okay, now this is interfering. Stupid urethane bumper. Let's see when I try and push this thing this way. I'm totally running into this thing. And this thing just doesn't want to go sit in position back there. So, remove this. Thing. that off but now I still I, th I still don't think I've really solved my problem honestly I think my, my problem is the hood latch I think we're in position more or less let's check the shifter hole position okay check it out this is pretty much right where we want to land for the Serial 9 shifter relocation bracket. Video to come on that. That's gonna pretty much put us in the middle of the shifter hole. The only thing is these bolts down here for the oil pan are gonna be a nightmare to change. Uh, I might have to just lift the motor up and change the, change the oil pan that way. Okay, so this is kind of the nerve-wracking part where you kind of start cutting things to fit and final positioning of the motor. I am 90% sure this is where I want it. The shifter assembly deal is awfully close up there to the shifter hole. I think the first step on this is to go ahead and cut the square tubing uh, at a rough length. Exactly. Next, we will weld it with these two pieces and ends. Probably need to square these up just to make sure, like this way, just make sure they're not cockeyed, I guess. All right, Jacob, why don't you tell us what we're doing? Now that we got our transmission cross member cut and it conforms to the shape of the DOM piece, now we're going to weld these DOM pieces to the end. Then we can throw our bushings in, drill our two holes for a transmission isolator mount, bolt it on there, start mocking up the tabs that will attach on the, either side of the 
cross member is getting there now I'm gonna weld the holes like here and here whoops here and here to uh, secure this thing to the isolator but I want to make sure it's um, the holes are center or if I need to offset them I will do that overall this thing's coming along not the prettiest welds but they're not, they're not bad some are better than others but we got good penetration inside so this mounts up like that and then we'll have some tabs. I will go ahead and drill the holes accordingly. <clears throat> Transmission cross member. So as you can see the bushings will slide in here and we will mount it to tabs. There you go. Man, that turned out pretty good, honestly. We have to slide our bushings in here, build our tabs here. So as you can see, this this tab is gonna end up being a lot longer than this tab. It's gonna kind of conform to this shape, which will be interesting because we gotta put that plate here as well. Same over here. You got a shorter tab here, and then you got like a longer distance here. All fun stuff. Yeah, turned out pretty good, I'd say. Tonight, uh, we didn't get entirely done with the transmission mount, and we weren't even able to start the engine mounts. That's okay, I expected that. I set my goals high. Didn't quite achieve them, but you know, we're well on our way. There's no reason to rush these. I mean, yes, we have deadlines, but these are the most important pieces, I think, of the whole swap. Positioning that motor and transmission in there, I still have a few questions in my head, you know, as I put the oil pan over the front cross member, there's two bolts that are so close. There's no way I could even get the bolts in or out without lifting the motor the way it's positioned in there now. So uh, we will continue working on the transmission mount. The part I didn't get done was, was attaching the support plate and the tabs. I mean, I just keep repositioning, repositioning, second guess myself. So I might actually have my friend Bose or Ross, my fabricator, come over and check some things out. I just want a second opinion before I actually lock in the position of of everything and especially with my shifter not being here yet either it's I don't know if that's sketchy to mount this thing or not but anyway it is 
what it is. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. That'll give you uh, all the notifications and updates on my channel. We're almost to 1,000. It's crazy that um, I've come this far in this such short period of time. Obviously, I just bought this camera. This is the first digital, like, legit camera I've ever bought just for the purpose of this. I got another trick up my sleeve, too, as far as video gear, and you'll see that probably in tomorrow or the next day's episode. Should be really cool. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Um, Again, thanks for watching. We're grinding through this. We're doing all the work, and you guys are along for the ride. We'll see you in the next one.